favorite place to eat in college. Me and my best friend Elizabeth would come here on Saturday mornings after we woke up and just eat everything. It was amazing. But Will is here in my hometown and I'm just showing him all the places that I grew up and like the things that I did. So I'm in my college, in my home and things like that. So it's really fun. built when I was here. They built this the year after I left and it's so pretty. So I just finished walking through Wofford which was so sad because I guess it's been two years since I've graduated and it doesn't feel like it's been that long but the campus is so pretty. I'm a really big advocate for reminiscing over the past. The reason being is because I think you learn so much whenever you see how far you started and how far you've come. And going back to Wofford and going back to my old school, I can see how much I've grown as a person since I've graduated. And I think it's great. I think it's great that I'm able to go back and have such fond memories of the installation where I had my undergraduate. Um, and realize though how much I've grown as a person since then. Currently waiting for Will. He had to go inside and grab something. And I'm gonna show him a little bit more of where I grew up. He's never visited where I've actually grown up. So I'm really excited to show him the rest of it. So we were headed to the Biltmore House, which if you don't know what the Biltmore House is, it's like the biggest privately owned house in the United States, like it's huge. And it's in North Carolina, but they were sold out, which is crazy, because I have visited the Biltmore quite a few times and I've never had this issue. But we're gonna go to the night time service, which is like a candlelight ceremony. It's supposed to be really festive and really fun. In the meantime, it does not start for like another seven hours though, so we're just gonna go into downtown Asheville and just explore the city. You guys, I've been looking for this phone case forever, the white marble, and I have not found it. I found it randomly in the middle of Asheville. We just look at this line how long the line is oh my god we came at a really good time because the line wasn't that long when we came we spent a couple hours in uh asheville and now we are going to go into the winery for the wine tasting complimentary with tickets that we purchased then afterwards we're going to take some pictures and finally go into the biltmore seven hours later Wine tasting, you can taste six wines and my second one. Went to the wine tasting and I really liked this Christmas at Biltmore, so I'm actually gonna grab a bottle to bring along when I visit my brother and sister tomorrow. Okay, so I bought the Christmas red from the Biltmore and I'm going to have it as a surprise for when we get to my brother's house. So like he's hosting us for a couple days over New Year's and just to see him for the last couple times, a bit of ho uh, the holidays. And so the last day, I'm going to um, present the wine as a little gift, as a thank you. So super excited, hashtag adulting. I'm like really excited because if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm a big fan of Downton Abbey and this is like the American version of Downton Abbey. So this is wonderful. Also, I've never come here for the night light service, candlelight service. Service, so that's gonna be really new and I heard it's gonna be really pretty and the fireplaces are gonna be fireplaces are gonna be lit. I'm excited. Actually in the Biltmore and it looks like there's a live concert going on.
The library mm -hmm. is probably my favorite building in this whole house. It's like so pretty. the Biltmore tour. Oh my gosh, guys, the Biltmore is so beautiful. If you were ever in the Asheville, North Carolina area, I totally recommend it. It's a really great experience, especially if you do the candlelight one. Totally new experience to see everything with the fireplaces. I super enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, what happened?